Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a gerbil. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the bottom left side, make a small mark for the first part of the muzzle. Connect the small mark to the head using curved lines to finish the guide for the muzzle. This shape should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size of this arc in relation to the head. Draw a long sloping line across the entire head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top right side, draw a small arc as a guide for the ear. The bottom part of the ear should be close to the construction guide inside the head. To the left, draw a thinner arc as a guide for the other ear. On the right side of the head, draw a big circle as a guide for the top part of the body. Use the small marks method to draw this circle too. First, make a few small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about two times the size of the head circle. On the bottom right side, make a small mark to indicate the lower edge of the body. Connect the small mark to the big circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower half of the body. This line should be similar to a big upside down arc. On the left side of the body, draw a short sloping line as a guide for the front leg. Under the head, draw a short sloping line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the body, draw two long sloping lines as guides for the hind legs. Bend the lines on the right sides to indicate the joints. On the bottom right side of the body, draw a long horizontal line as a guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Use the construction line as a guide to help you position the eye inside the head. The eye should be close to the middle of the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Draw a couple of short angled lines on the sides of the shape for the corners of the eye. The corners of the eye should point toward the muzzle and the ear. Add a couple more curved lines around the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Now shade the rest of the eye. Use a value that's a bit lighter than the pupil when you shade the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Draw a few short strokes around the eye for a furry texture. On the tip of the muzzle, draw a small V-shaped line for the nose. Place the nose on top of the construction guide. 
On the right side, draw a couple of curved lines for the nostril. Draw a few short strokes at the top to close off the shape. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the right for the bottom part of the muzzle. Follow the path of the initial arc as you draw this line. On the right side, curve the line so that it's inside the shape of the arc. Darken the initial arc on top of the nose for the top part of the muzzle. Add a few short strokes to the right of the nose to complete the shape of the muzzle. Darken the arc on the top right side of the head to create the first ear. Make the line a bit wavier as you darken the shape. Extend the bottom part of the ear farther down inside the head. The bottom of the ear should be close to the eye. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom of the shape for the furry base of the ear. Add more short strokes within the shape for the fur that's inside the ear. Draw a few short curved lines on the right side of the shape to give the ear more structure. Darken the thin arc on the left side to create the other ear. Draw a few short strokes at the bottom for fur. Darken the guidelines on the left side to create the top part of the head. The top part of the head should connect to the muzzle. Draw a series of short strokes between the ears for the top part of the furry head. The top part of the head should be higher up than the initial circle. Add a series of short strokes along the bottom edge of the initial circle to complete the shape of the head. On the right side, make the shape of the head wider than the initial circle. Space out the short strokes for a furry texture. Add a few more short strokes at the top of the head. Use the sloping line on the left side of the body as a guide to draw the first front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Curve the shape of the leg along the path of the guideline. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. At the bottom of the shape, draw a series of small angled lines for the toes. Each toe should be similar to a small letter V. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. Use the line that's under the head as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. On the tip of the shape, draw a few short angled lines for the toes. This leg should be smaller than the first leg. Now use the sloping line under the body as a guide to draw the first hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Curve the tip of the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Draw a series of short strokes at the top for fur. Keep the edges of the foot close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. On the tip of the shape, draw a series of long thin shapes for the toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Bend the right side of the leg up so that it's inside the body. Use the short sloping line on the left side as a guide to draw the other hind leg the same way. 
draw the shape of the leg around the guideline. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. On the left tip of the shape, draw a few long thin shapes for the toes. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Follow the path of the guide as you draw the shape of the leg. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the lines to create a furry texture. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side of the body as you darken the shape. Make the left side of the body slightly wider than the initial circle. Use the long line on the right side as a guide to draw the tail. Just like with the legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. Keep the edges of the tail close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. On the right side, use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. Make the right side of the tail slightly wider than the left. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value all over the body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Leave the underside of the body blank for the white fur. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a gerbil. Add a bit of light value on the underside of the body to create shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the gerbil. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.